I mean, I mean the statement was was absurd. Yeah. Bottom line, it was absurd. The idea that his own Department of Justice, remember, this is the same Hunter Biden who got a sweetheart deal in the first place. Right. And it was only Hunter Biden that undid that deal. No one else. So that that's well, the, ju the judge undid the deal after he failed to agree to it. I mean, I mean, but the bottom line is because Hunter wanted a blanket immunity for everything that he'd ever done. Right. And the judge said, you you understand this. But the bottom line is, is that this was not some political prosecution. Number two, as Dan said, I mean, up until the last couple of weeks, both he and Crin Jean Pierre had gone out there repeatedly saying there was nothing to do. So this argument that every father, I mean, I, I think each of us are our parents, we would kill for our children. But then why lie about it repeatedly and say, never going to do it. I stand by the Justice Department. I mean, you you expressed 100 percent confidence in the system up until 10 days ago, and suddenly it's a political persecution. You've never had even a hint of concerns about the DOJ up until this weekend, apparently. The idea that it's a sweeping pardon for 11 years for crimes committed in unknown is really questionable. What else don't we know? And then here's my, and then the last two points that I would make are, for every Democrat who talks about background checks on guns, Understand this, you can never, ever say with credibility again that we should have further background checks. You watched a guy lie on a federal background check to possess a pistol, which he threw away by a school, and you want to lecture the rest of us about gun rights? Never again. And lastly, I would be very, very concerned about the rest of the family and who else he pardons between now and January 20th. John, well, brother Jim, others. Maybe himself. Maybe himself.